Maybe going inside a human's house wasn't such a good idea. I want to eat! I want food! Food is what you'll get, hamster. Enough food to fill a bear cave, hopefully. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Oh, look at the light! We need to get through the next three yards. Everyone knows your roles, right? Heather and I run along the front of the houses and come in through the basement window. At the first sign of trouble, we... We resist the urge to faint, so we can warn everyone, right? Oh, right. Lou, Penny, you'll meet us at the house? Just me. Penny will stay home with the little ones. Oh, jeepers. I don't want you by yourself in a human house there. But we do this together. Hamilton? Where to go, huh? You and Stella meet us at the hole in the fence in the third yard, right? Right. Third yard, yep. Three comes after six, right? <laughs> Stella? Help Hammy count to three. Got it. And Vern and I will navigate the three yards full of the most devious human traps imaginable, sticking to the shadows like creatures of the night, sneaking past incredible dangers, and... Sometime before the sun comes up would be good. Right. Everyone ready? Good luck, everyone, and be careful! Wow. I have to say, this doesn't look so bad. You just waltzing through this gate like a couple of gate waltzes? You both have a lot to learn about birds, don't ya? Don't ya? You don't want a piece of me, Tweety. Seriously. You wouldn't want to see my friend here bluster and fume, would you? Look, people, I don't make the rules. You want into the next yard, you need my help. Sorry, guys. City ordinance. We're all slaves to bureaucracy. That's what separates us from the humans. Uh, yeah. Very thought-provoking. Thank you. What do we have to do to get past? I got the key for the gate hidden in one of those objects. Break them until you find it. Oh, we get to break stuff? Why didn't you say so? Ready, Stella? Yeah, but this better be one stupid cat. Boy, this kind of makes me want to get a log with a higher roof. And carpet. Amen. Now let's disable the trap so we can admire all this without that whole fear of death thing. Ah, just what the disarmament doctor ordered. Oh, I'm getting dizzy just looking at this thing. I'll handle this. Hammy? Where's my cookie? You just said cookie, right? Either way, where is it? There's plenty of cookies in it for you, Hammy. All you have to do is just follow the bouncing light and push the buttons and cookies will rain down from the heavens like... Birthday cakes? Wedding cakes, but only if you hop to it. Where is that ridiculous exterminator now? Buenos dias, reptile. Or should I say, buenos noches. Almost there. What the? Oh, good. Uh, there you are. I was just on my way to kill you. Well, well. I'm impressed. You really outdid yourself this time. Keep this up and you're gonna be just like me. Take what you need, and who cares about anyone else? Well, I guess when you put it like that... Wow, doing the right things never felt so dumb! Whee! That was fun! Go tell our driver to do it again. Don't just stand there. Help me bust everybody out of these things. Then just stand there, and don't touch nothing. I'm heading up front for a little recon. Hang on! <laughs> Thank heavens I won't have to set eyes or foot on any more of those horrid creatures ever again. You! Sam! Us! Hedge, now! Hominu, hominu. Let's go! Yay! Hurry! Uh, uh. Kia! Run! Run! Come on, hurry! And once again, we're home sweet. Dead. Get up on a three o'clock! This is not a drill! Uh. Oh! Doesn't this human ever give up? Uh, let me rephrase that. I give up. Come on, Burn, are you a turtle or a mouse? Well, well. Look what the hedge dragon is. Hi, hey, you're not so mad about losing all your food, are you? Uh, you sure look mad chasing us back there. Hey, wait, Vincent, I can explain.
blade. Better yet. We didn't do it! Die, I mean. <sighs> not that that's not a cheering headline, but where'd RJ Skip off to now? Drink, Hammy! Drink! Rewiring the conductor frame to the propane tanks might have made all the difference. You're fired. What you did back there, that was really brave. And stupid. I, I can't exactly say I was wrong about you, RJ, but thanks for making me a, a little wrong towards the end, at least. I'm just glad everything turned out. And don't worry, next time will be way easier. I got it all figured out. Next time. <laughs> Pretty sweet take this time, Vern. I knew it was touch and go for a while, but today's haul puts us over the edge. RJ, I know we got off to a rocky start, but I guess meeting you was a real stroke of luck after all. <gasps> what the? Somebody needs to clean up around here. <gasps> the food! Our television! It's broken! Who would steal our food? Maybe the rats. Um, this for sure wasn't rats. Now what? Wait, wait, sorry. I zoned out. Define the television's broken. <sighs> Looks nice and peaceful. Steel and concrete, humans! Hey, it's that nice man who gives animals hats! He's making rats do his dirty work with those caps. Why didn't I think of that? Did they come in purple? Feel free to resume gnawing and spreading pestilence immediately. Yeah, I've heard all the world's a stage, but this is ridiculous. If the lights see us, we'll get caught. Either way, we win. What is it, Penny? Ah, oh, cheapers, it's the little ones. They ran off to go look for the television. Then I saw that human, the sniffer. Oh, I knew I should have said the TV was a figment of their imagination all along. Oh, gosh, I'm a terrible mother. It's gonna be okay, Penny. I'm sure the TV's fine. What you up to? What's it look like? Make it a shortcut. Heather was just. No one but me hassles my friend. It's all part of the act. I'm fine. Feel free to lend a hand. My performance was the distraction. For a minute, it even distracted me. Yeah, me too. And I'm a tough room. Heather went this way. Follow me. Jeez, what kept you guys? near the end of the street. I'll meet you there. That looks inviting. Humans sure know how to make stuff sparkly. Beat it! Awesome! Over here! Come on, hurry! The door's right over... Uh, we come in peace? I'm warning you. Don't come any closer, I'll... We gotta help her. She can't play dead for that long. <sighs> Sorry, I wasn't going to help. Heather, what were you thinking? What? Why would you be proud? Right, you know you're not ready for the big leagues yet. You barely even mastered failing unconsciousness. Dad, get real. I'm better and you can't handle it. Just like Mom does. We'll discuss this at the log, young lady. Oh, boy. Let's just grab the tube while the Issues household thrashes this out. Anybody besides me not seeing a TV right now? This is what humans call a film projector. It makes stuff look way huger than it really is by using optical science instead of marketing. Pick it up and carry it outside. I'll show you. We're all meeting at the end of the street. See you there. This for just a little box wasn't worth it.
Dad. The danger, the risk, the travel time. Dad. Don't interrupt me, young lady. All of us could have been captured, or, or worse. Dad, it shows me Real big. Like as big as a tree. That has no bearing on, um, we talking sycamore or sequoia? It's not going to show anything until we get it home. Come on. Hey, that sounds just like... Hey, get your reptile. Over here. No, first just a patsy. It's me you want. Yeah, go after him. Whoa! See, we drove him off. He's coming back. And that's our cue to get this show on the road. All right, gather around. This is us here, this here is me, and this line here represents the stick I'm holding. Vern, if I may? Little thing called the 21st century. Look it up sometime, Pops. Reptile. I can't help that. Now then. Voila! That's French for our goal, the Martin residence. Now, the good news is, there's no catch at all this time. Bad news is, there is one catch, actually. We have to avoid the streets at all costs. Hey, um, excuse me, Monsieur, but we were just in the streets last night. Remember? I do remember, Vern. I'm sure we all do. Thus, the new street avoidance part of the plan. Now, let's focus. We'll come from the hedge here and creep unsuspectingly down over into this yard. Find a way past the gate, hereabouts, and out toward the street through that iron gate. Um, didn't you just say going in the street was what we didn't want? Burn. where does it say you can't avoid something by going toward it and crossing it? The dictionary? Never heard of it. Then we head through these two yards, maybe hop a ride to our destination. Hop a ride? What ride? I want a ride. Shh! Don't spoil the surprise, Hamilton. Even I don't know what I'm talking about. We all set? Let's hit lasers. My favorite. Not just lasers. Brain T Azers. We need to find a way to open this gate. Perhaps this inscribed frog here is a cunningly placed clue. Merely work your way past the deadly laser grid in the next yard and disarm the trap so the rest of us can join you. Good luck, and above all, don't die. Finally, hey, what's that sound? It's that human in the van again. Finally, some good news. You can't stay here. Looks like we only have one chance. Any excuse to wriggle down that fire hydrant again? It's my drant to the hydrant. Um, somebody order rabbit? This doesn't look like the right way. We got your little surprise up there on the roof of that small building then. Real humdinger, too. I wager both my keepers on it. Yeah. Get yourself some fuel, and you're all set to Say no more. I want to be surprised. Spike, put your brother down right now. There you gotta go. Hey, right. You want to know what I got for you. In the end, they all come to the Blue Jay. Get this thing to the loot circle after this place is a bit more go for free, would you? I got what you might call hollow bones. Woohoo! This is the only way to fly. I'm no raccoon, but Whee! isn't this thing a little loud in the element of surprise department? Burn, burn. It's our landing that's got to be covert. Nice landing. This place is a death trap. What are the humans thinking? Oh, I can see where they're coming from. We should get some lasers for the log. Now let's get to the disarm box. I'll drop the food. You catch it and toss it in the wagon before we run out of time. Or if we do run out of time, start all over. It'll buy us time. You handle the pulling, and we'll handle the lookouting. Lookouts? For what? Oh, nothing. So, just to recap, the guy in the van who hates animals isn't on our side. Whoa! It's him, the sniffer. Ozzy, he can't see us. He'd have to have eyes like a set of high powered binoculars with isometric infra lenses. Ozzy, look out! 
Hasta la vista, Herman. Expect me when you least expect me, and not one second later, or I'll work for half off and not one dollar more. He's bluffing. I think he wants us to leave. He's just too shy to say it. Over here. Huh. How does he do that? Possums can teleport. I saw it on late night TV. Well, now that's not how many times in a row your teacher said you tripped and fell into the classroom aquarium. Oh, Jimmy, you have to learn to pay attention in class. Uh, you won't get anywhere in life if you can't learn to pay attention and look at Oh! I love the smell of victory in the morning. It smells like... Cheese puffs! <laughs> yeah. Not to burst everybody's bubble. You? But does barely getting away with our lives count as a victory? Hey, getting away with a wagon load of cheese puffs? Where I come from, that's a TKO. Okay, guys, this couldn't be any simpler. We hit the shooting gallery, grab the popcorn machine, in and out, two minutes top. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 Well, here we are. All set. It's all I can think about. What do you mean, though? Getting to the train engine so we can stop it and get off at the shooting gallery. Oh, I get it. You want to speed up the train, only the opposite. But how? Leave everything to yours truly. It sounds to me like the best thinking ever. You want to bet I could bullseye the whole rat pack from here? Everything in the universe. Actually, leave me one too, please. Please. Finally, a moving platform to jump to. For a second there, I was one. The train's not slowing. The breeze will feel nice when we jump off. Jumping off trains is a cinch. Relax. It's all about focus and not letting the tons of metal shear off a piece of you. Isn't that our stop? <laughs> I need. Not bad. Look, Mommy, a raccoon! <laughs> They're fake animals, dear. Targets. Just shoot at them. There's nowhere to go but up, yeah? And what goes up must come down. Let's shelve that for now. Now it's a real clear shot then, all the way to the end. Just watch out for the targets and it'll be smooth sailing. Relax. This Stop! Is... It's hysterical from back here. Careful, behind you! See how much fun we have with the raccoon in charge? This is my park, and you're my dinner. Avoid being eaten! Whoa, whoa! What a maroon! Now let's snag the popcorn machine and bamboos! I thought popcorn was mostly air. Put your shell into it, Burn! Is that a fat joke? All right, gang, here's the 411. The Backstreet Boys! Uh, old screensaver. It was on there when I got it. <laughs> You just got this phone. Great, let's go over the plan. We, i.e. us, come out of the hedge into this yard. From there, we head up to these so-called deadly high-voltage power lines. You're out of your mind. It's perfectly safe. Hammy runs along power lines all the time, don't you, champ? <laughs> that blue sparkly stuff tickles my toes and makes my eyes smoke. You're right. These meetings are really helpful. Power lines lead us right to this attic window, as if by divine providence. We go through the attic, then cross through this yard. Bingo! We're at the Smith's back door, dead or alive. It's as easy as pie, but without the hassle of burning the crust. Just the image I needed. Burn. a wise raccoon once said that none of us can truly appreciate life until we try extra hard to lose it. I'd tell you what happened to him, but it's a sad story. Okay, we ready? Let's go!
Why can't all yards we almost die crossing be this well decorated? I haven't seen this much pink since that one time I got stuck inside my tongue. Hey, a castle. Reminds me of those medieval logs our ancestors lived in. First, we get to try and make it to that house without dying, and then across those wires without dying. For a minute there, I actually thought you said wires. You know, like the electrical current carrying kind. Don't worry, we still need to figure out a way across that bridge for- Cell phone sensors are picking up some kind of barrier. Signal locked. Okay guys, look for this. It's your way out. Hmm, find something heavy. <laughs> How hard can that be? Thanks, Heather. Let's go. Well, that wasn't so... I can almost hear our fur sizzling. Battle station! Guys, sorry to interrupt again, but I need to tell you something really, really important. Whatever you do before you leave the attic... We're actually in a post-attic stage. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, scratch that. It's really, really important that you all remain extra, extra careful with your weapons once you're in the yard. I'm afraid to ask, but how come? Duly noted. Check for traps before we give the all clear this time. Traps aren't evil. It's the metal used to make traps that's evil. Sorry to interrupt everyone, but I'm afraid I'm the bearer of grim news. What I'm about to say you may find disturbing, if not outright quasi- is it about the electrified floor? We're looking right at it. Oh, well, never mind then. Thanks, Ozzy. We'll take it from here. Wow, it smells great in here. Kind of like our forest, only chemically processed. It's coming from that little guy right there. Oh, the smell of fake trees. If humans like the smell of woods, why don't they just use real trees? Maybe because cans are easier to water and prune. How come you think they use so much, though? Uh, because rats stink? the basement before these rabbits multiply. <gasps> Look, a badger! Oh, he just wants to badge us! Isn't that right, little guy? Uh, I'm no expert, but I'd say picking turtle shell out of his teeth in just a few seconds. Oh, jeepers. Look at all that food, then. Oh. That we stole every crumb, fair and square! Hello, you up there? You betcha, hon. Come help load up the wagon there. Alrighty then. Now Lou will fill you in on what he wants. I'll go up and give him a hand while you fill her up. Sound good? Ah, uh, super then. Isn't this a little exposed? As long as we're careful. Hey, look at that! What? Nice try! I heard that. <gasps> Whoa! This is so much worse than a bear. Mom! Yep, worse than a bear. Let's get that stuff to the hedge and celebrate our survival. Did you leave the lawnmower on again? Oh, shut that monstrosity off! I can barely even hear my beautiful garbage disposal! Hey, look! The humans gave us a new toy. Remind me to send them all a thank you note. Never mind that. Run, run before we smell the summary of the delicious grass juice spewing out the back. Of Doom is my cue to exit stage this way. Thank you, Ozzy. Very moving. We'll distract the sniffer while he gets away clean and keeps all the food for himself. I just had the most incredible dream. I was playing dead so well. <sighs> Nothing beats being like a Oh, that's heartwarming, Ozzy. Don't move. We're coming over right now. with extra mail. What happened to you folks there? Trust me, you don't even want to know. Anyone got a lawnmower? What for? Me. All right, brothers and sisters, I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, simple as taking a satellite dish from a bear's cave? No. Well, the time has come. Only instead of simple, it'll probably be extremely complicated and cost many lives. Oh. So, let's get started. We'll start in the caves at the bottom of the cliff. No climbing. I like it already. Glad you approve. Eventually, we'll come to an underground river. We follow this nice, swooping curve of scenic, high-resolution underground caverns right underneath Vincent the Bear's old den. Um, hi. Quick question. He's not there, right? The hungry, angry bear who hates us? Burn, please. Do you honestly think I'd recklessly endanger our lives with some harebrained scheme? I scouted it out just the other day. It was cold and cobwebby, desolate. Uh, which day was this again? I told you, the other one. 
Now we'll come back about halfway up the mountain. The bear, we're not supposed to feed. Burn. I scouted it. Or meant to. Whatever. Now, if I can continue. From here, we just head up the mountain to the den, grab the satellite dish, then head back. How exactly we planning on carting some big giant dish all the way down that mountain? Worry, worry. That's all you worry warts do. Onward! Reptile! Amphibian! 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 Wow, did you bring a bunch of clones? I like it, especially with that bear lurking around. Well, as long as Vincent isn't eating us just this second, we should be fine, right? Wow. <laughs> Hello! Hi yourself, Chutz. through the mountain. Mountains are mostly hollow, right? If the place caves in, I know how to swim through solid rock. I saw it on TV. Yeah, you might want to keep it down. I think we're right under the bear's lair. Just a thought. Don't forget the satellite dish. That's how hungry I am right now. I can eat the whole fish. Oh, good point. I'd much rather get eaten over one of those. I was just thinking chip for the past six hours, and behold. Uh, I predict a strong chance of showers in the weather. Crunchy, salty chip showers. Get ready to run. Hey, we appeased the cave-in gods. Let's go to Vincent's den and celebrate while he tries to eat us. Our luck's held out so far, so it stands to reason that Vincent can't be anywhere in the vicinity. No, no, I get where you're coming from. What you're saying is, A, Vincent hasn't come back in two tacos. I'll even bet you a raccoon. One in particular. You said a mouthful. I can taste the difference. Oh, Vincent laid out some toys for us to play with. Maybe this is bear speak for please come visit me. I am not a peppermint meteor, despite my minty fresh smell. Let's look on the bright side. We have no choice. Not much farther, I predict. We still got quite a ways to travel still. And where's the food? Yeah, it must be getting close. Death, the way out, one or the other. Just pretend we already have a satellite dish and we're watching a nature program. Gosh, so this is a cave, and I thought those bats I was talking to were just making stuff up. Why do I get the feeling that door's locked and no one here remembered to pack a crowbar? With any luck, we'll find keys right near the edge of the bottomless pit. It's just common sense. Great, let's go. No time like the present to risk the future. I told you Vincent wasn't here. Look, everybody, it's Vincent. Grr, must eat annoying raccoon. Let's compromise. Eat this rock. Run away! Ah! Ah! Vincent, I know this looks bad, but for whatever it's worth, my shell might break your teeth. Oh, he wants to play. Come here, you big lug. Huh? RG? Hey, Vincent, what's the last thing you remember? That human with all the traps shooting me with a drag dart. And you, destroying all my stuff. Twice. Uh, let's get back to the first last thing you remember. You were brainwashed into wanting to attack us thanks to this. Well, actually, I still want to attack you. But not as much, right? Look, Vincent, we have a common enemy. RJ? The other common enemy. Remember the big human who shaved you in that contraption? Yeah. I'd like a bite of that human to give him something to remember. I'm in. The bears are so easy. Okay, gang. This ought to be a cinch. Wow, we've crashed a plane and a train so far. Why not a boat this time? Oh, oh, oh! Arr, matey! Who's next? Who's next? Can we let the raccoon finish, please? Thank you, Stella. Now... Our destination is this house. The Connors will enter through the back door. Ah, huh, subtle. What's the occasion? Thanks. So, crossing the yard without dying or anything along those lines? Should be simple. Every time should be simple. It's, what do we add now? 0 for 9? 
Nine. We come out of the hedge here and head toward the street. This sounds familiar. Relax, Vern. We won't go into the street this time. I got a system. We'll take the sewers. The sewers is a system? You, you don't know what words mean, huh? Yay! Sewers! Then we can smell like Stella! What did you say? Something, something, yay! We'll make a sharp U through the sewers and come out right by the Connor's back door. Start to finish in no time. Everyone's got it? Uh, no, I... Uh... What about the... My little toy submarine ran out of baking soda last year. Great. Let's get this... It's so peaceful here. So innocent. I know. What a pack of maroons. Oh. What's up, Ozzy? He was just here. The sniffer. He set that statue down and then chased Penny's children into the front yard. It was all I could do to wait here and play dead till you were on. Terrific. Well, well, well. One, two, three of you little critters. Your dad was like... This is what we in the vermin taught you. This is called a Don't worry, kids. Everything's under real good control there. Safe. Safe? Down there? In the dark? Without snacks? <laughs> Don't fret, Vermin. Once I get you back to Verm Tech, we'll fit you with nice little caps and nice soulless atomic. Oh, oh God. Yeah, it's sewers or the sniffer. Your call. Hey, thanks for the cage breakage. I would have done it myself, but I get these really bad apathy attacks. Oh, please. It was nothing. Literally. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Can you tell us how to get into that house over there? You're a blue jay and all. Can I? <laughs> can I? Actually, I think it's Mayhew. I can do more than tell you. I can show you. Watch and learn the Tao of Human Architectural Entry Tactics. Step one. Now, all we have to do is find the... Quiet! I can't even hear myself yell! Alright, all we got to do is get to that switch without waking up those chihuahuas. Couldn't be any simpler. I minored in sneaking back at the Academy of Squirrel Motor Skills. Oh, did you happen to see those real cute little dog fellows there? Ah, oh, jeepers. I just wanted to zip them up in my pouch, take them home with us, and have them bronzed. They kind of lead more towards unholy, to be perfectly honest. You get the food for the wagon there all squared away then, hon? Sure, Penny. Just call out what you want and we'll fling it through the window. Guys, you might want to hurry. Those two sweet little nightmares just scuttled upstairs and it sounds like they're yipping to wake the dead. You're just in time. I have an urgent announcement to make. There are a couple of loose chihuahuas running around. Don't worry, Oz. Mere dogs are no match for a squirrel. Wagon ho! I don't suppose you know any animals that yip like that except chihuahuas? Concern is touching, but unwarranted. Human diesel technology is no match for the instincts of a possum, and won't be for many decades. If you happen to have any instincts that might help us lose less food next time you duel a speeding truck? Hey, see it's raining chips? Oh, happy baby. I guess we can start recollecting it all. Should only take a few of your lifetimes and half of mine. I hereby promote Ozzy to moving the wagon over there and demo myself and you to retrieving food. Yay, congrats to all! And Ozzy, if you want to go in the street and get hit by another truck, let me watch. It was cool. You know the drill, chump. 
Find the food for me and I'll come pick it up. It's called symbiosis. Or busy work, depending on your age range. Now that's what I call a motivational speech. That's what I call get moving. Let's make like a wagon load of food and get out of here. Three of those bags of chips are mine, FYI. You don't say. Flying food around works up an appetite. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. Why? All oh, right, you can't fly. Now let's mosey before the price goes up. Cheapers, we've been worried sick. Look. <laughs> Oh, he's just like a giant teddy bear, with anger issues and half-eaten bats on his breath. Look, we gotta hit the amusement park while it's closed. Amusement park? Again? Or what? A cotton candy machine, Stella. Now come on and get your stink shot loaded. Cotton candy, Stella. Seduce a cat, Stella. Excuse me for always missing the... Fred! Where the heck are ya? Get over here right now, so I can fire you! I was thirsty. First, animals in my shooting gallery, and now trash on the mini golf course. What is going on around here? All clear. Let's hit. There's the roller coaster. Hands monument to his own boredom. I take it we're nowhere near the people mover station. Well, stealing a cotton candy machine isn't a walk in the park. There will be tons of running involved. You can never have too many rats, except these. No, let's get rid of them. Hmm, usually there's a switch for the gate around here somewhere. Actually, that crane over there might work. What do you mean? You saw an animal on the golf course. Those words could mean just about anything, Sonny my bum. Berman. Con son, jiggly fat gelatandrius! Um, duck. Ow! <laughs> you! Oh. Ah! I would have gotten away with brooming them, too, if it wasn't for you meddling rolly coasters. Huh? What a maroon. Come on, let's move it. This ain't exactly the altitude skunks consider optimum. As a species, we sort of gravitate more towards the ground. Really? I thought you climbed trees and electrical wires and satellites all the time. I guess this ain't all that different from climbing a really large tree. That's painted and covered with roller coasters and oil stains. And more electricity, I see, to take the edge off our worry of falling off. Why am I not surprised? Well, I guess we have no choice. Unless you count falling hundreds of feet as a choice. If y'all get fried, I'm gonna laugh. I don't mean anything by it, but you got to admit it's pretty dang funny. What do you mean you can't see them? Just look up, you idiot! You're under up! Maybe he means a different set of animals on a different set of his roller coaster tracks. Right there! See? On the tracks! Vermin! Clear as the spittle on the end of my nose, you crumb blood nink of garlic! Since when do we have good luck? Of course, he needs us. Huh. If you want something right, you have to do it yourself. Get my personal car ready! I'm going up! Let's get off these tracks fast. Anybody see where that crazy fool chasing us went? Please don't speculate about the location of our enemies anymore. Right on cue. <laughs> you scallywag informant! Just in time for what back in my day we like to call the air. Something tells me it's no longer the 3rd of July. This guy's a real... You won't get away with this! I'll call Burn Tech and... A lot of work for a cotton candy machine. You should see what I'll do for chocolate bars. Uh... Help. Voila! Gathunite! Ozzy, what are you doing here? The sniffer, that evil human, he has Heather. For all I know, he already has one of those metal things on her sweet, innocent head. Or worse. Come on, worse than getting a cap slammed on your head? Wham! Then you're under his control and you walk around like this! Then you attack your own father and you get captured! What? 
We'll get Heather back, safe and sound. I'm all for rescuing and revenge and all, but how are we gonna find him? There's one person who definitely knows how to find the sniffer. Yep, no choice. Gotta get Heather back. <sighs> all right, we're going back to Gladys's house. Well, all, the stakes have never been higher. Mmm, steak. We're looking for Gladys's PDA, which is a human gadget that holds addresses they never visit and phone numbers they never call. So far ahead of us in so many ways. Gladys's new house is in the new part of the suburbs, so we're going through some construction. Hooray! Dirt! Uh, right. Dirt. Lots of dirt, hamster. And if you're a good squirrel, maybe even some rust. Now, here's the thing. We have to go through these two yards, then through this house and up to the scaffolding. I'm no skunk Floyd Wright, but that don't exactly look at all safe. It can hold three or four good-sized human men, so you should be fine. Vern, on the other hand... Hey, enough with the fat jokes. I can't help it if my shell is heavy, and, and technically, it's muscle. Right, that's all shell. Whatever you say, buddy. Anywho, we'll drop right down into Gladys's yard, pop into the back door, and hope I figure out what happens next before then perfect plan to fill the perfect log. So easy, even Hammy could do it. Huh? Straight. Humans dig out the old stream, then dig a new hole for new streams. Yep. Then they cut down the trees and pull up the grass and dirt so they can put the dirt back in? Don't forget the springs they pave over so they can install jacuzzis. Which puts them higher on the food chain because... Evolution sure moves in mysterious ways. Inside, the whole place is crawling with gophers. In fact, crawling's putting a bright face on it. Now upstairs and out the window. The roofs are probably our best and most... Mission accomplished. Or at least getting to the mission debriefing accomplished. We gave the place there a real once-over earlier. And I'd say it looks pretty safe down there. Borderline real good then. What up with that chick with the angry shock prod? Where's she at and how long we got? Oh, her. She's out in front. Be all right in the backyard. It's a whole few feet away in plain view, then. Fair enough. Let's make it happen. Huh. Anybody ever seen one of those before? I just remembered somewhere I gotta be. We can use those conveniently placed propane tanks to give this thing a permanent hot foot. Get a robot bigger than that to get my pelt buster. If it helps, Heather, it was all worth it. Where to next? for continuing this magical journey, maybe in a front yard. Sounds like a plan. Let's take the realtor by the horn. Team Hedge in position. What you got for us, Oz? Good news, everyone. Lou managed to get a peek inside the bank. The device is on the seat. The key for the back of the truck is by the door. Get the key, get into the truck, get to the cab, get out. You might want to alphabetize those tasks to better keep them straight. Roger that. Don't worry, Oz. We'll have Heather back before you know it. I promise. Jeez, look at all this stuff. You think she just lost her home or something? What a pack rat. Something tells me where there's a way in, there's got to be a way out. Oh, boy. I mean, hi, rat. You're not here to make trouble for us, are you? Now, all we have to do is... You. I thought I smelled vermin. That's my PDA. You thieves. Eep. Uncle! I've been preparing for this moment. All right, hairballs. It's go time. You want a little of this? <sighs> Woohoo! No turtle goes faster than Gladys Sharp! on couch violation of all mourners uh, so yeah, doesn't taste like black fairy Vincent wait till you hear defend the law I'll take point stay back mortals this will be a bear thing For log and countryside. No, 
Milton, what's the last thing you remember? I remember Firm Tech, where the humans made the shiny hats. <laughs> you didn't happen to see a little she possum while you were there, did you? Yeah, called herself Heather. That evil human has my daughter. Let's get to Firm Tech, rescue Heather, and shut that place down once and for all. What do y'all say we name this hedge? Now how about Linda? How about Impassable? Guys, please. How many times do I have to remind you? You're with the raccoon. Ta-da! Look out! Relax, Stella. Statues are nothing to be afraid of. RJ, stand by that pile of leaves. Now you're thinking like a raccoon. Hey, Marble Breath, over here! You mean we actually had a plan that worked? Don't question good fortune. Just run! This is Verm Tech. Let's get in there and save Heather before someone else does. Oh, yeah. And avoid or shoot all rats. I don't want to hurt you, little marsupialis. I just have a nice hat for your head. Help me! Help! Ha! You think you're the first possum to try and get on this elevator? Guess again. What do you suppose this room's for? Since it don't have wheels, guess it's not any kind of transportation. Well, a button unpressed is a useless button. I don't know. I smell disaster. When's that ever stopped us? What are you afraid of, Firmlet? It doesn't hurt a bit to have your scalp pierced by sharp steel electrodes. Watch. Wait for him to slip up. Then we make our move. There you are. You just hold still. Presto. The perfect weapon. A wrench. First step simple. All we gotta do is just take out all those machines lining the room. What's the next phase involved? Uh, I left that part blank for now. You, and you? It's not a too good to be true. Say your prayers, Rotel. Shooting further than I can spray. Fight like a man. Break that thing on the It'll fall right on him. Even if it doesn't slow him down, might be funny. No, not the captain controller. Any controller is down. I see you. Now Vermin's ever made it out of Vermin's life without me seeing him. Here comes Mr. Pants again. What's up, sister? Is my dad all right? You sure will be glad to see you're safe and sound. I believe that's our cue to evacuate this university before it becomes a mushroom cloud. So many stars. So many planets. So much fun. Hurry! Thanks for coming for me, Uncle RJ. Please, it was on the way. Whoa! This isn't over yet! I've had my cheeks singed by bigger animals than you'll ever be! Come on, we have to get after them. Call in the SWAT team. Naturally, Vern was against the whole idea. As usual, RJ's plan consisted of, let's just go wherever the danger is and hope for the best. Plus, I ate some cheese fries this one time. Enough sitting around. Who wants to dance with a skunk? Oh, my little striped passion flower. I believe this next dance is mine. See? Told you there. All she needed was a good fella. Close enough, eh? I can't thank you enough for saving her. You are my heroes. Uh, you would have done it for us. No, but I would now. Well, it's getting to be about that time. Ugh. Yep. First day of winter tomorrow. Yep. Hey. You know, we only have 38 bags of nachos. Yep. Gonna be a long winter. Uh, leap year and all. What are you trying to say? I'll get the wagon. Way ahead of you. 